son of a bitch. That bastard. Kitty? What? Kitty from Valley High? It's Jack. <laughs> I... I remember you. I'm sorry, I'm just going through a situation. <laughs> I'll go if you want me to. No, no, it's okay. It's just... I am so sick of men. I just... I want to cut all their little balls off with safety scissors. Slow and painful. Oh. Not really. So, how are you, Jack? It's good seeing you. What did you do in high school again? Band. That's right. Y used to do magic tricks too, right? Yeah, in the courtyard. Do you still do them? Oh, shoot. Oh. Uh, uh, how are you? Did you grow up to be the famous journalist we always knew you would be? <laughs> Kinda. I write the living section for the time. What about that right there? This? Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. I'm not going to bother you with my problems. I am an open journal. Right. Well, my therapist did say it's not good to bottle things up. So my boyfriend, or the guy who I thought was my boyfriend, stood me up again. We went on a few really great dates and I thought we really had something. And so I called him and I was like, let's meet up for lunch or something. And every time I do, he has some stupid excuse like, I'm busy, or I'm decorating for Christmas. That was a good one. Or my parents just came in town. The last time he felt bad for standing me up and so he said, let's meet up for breakfast. So I get dressed up and come down here and he sends me a text that says, I have strep. Surprised. I just, I want to find somebody with passion and loyalty and dedication. Someone who's not a dick. Somebody who can open the floodgates to your soul. Someone who can play your heartstrings like a master violinist. Your problem is you're not comfortable in your own skin. You gotta paint the world in your own color and they'll love you for it. Come on, let's shake this thing off.